Thank you very much. Representative Allred, uh, Chair recognizes Representative Massey of Kentucky for five minutes. Thank you, Chairman Larson. You know, the FCC has an obligation to ensure over time that the radio spectrum is used for its highest and best use. In fact, it was Obama in 2010 who said, free up some space for these telecommunications uh, devices. And I was shocked when I dug into this to find out how much of the spectrum the aviation industry uses. And I'm wondering, you know, by 1982 standards, it might have been a, the highest and best use of that spectrum. But now that we've got better radio frequency modulators and, and an ability to use this space, by the way, no more frequencies getting manufactured. We've got all that God has given us. It's like land on the planet. So we have to be really careful with this space and use it the best way. What I was shocked to find out is that the radio altimeter, which is basically a 1980s version of, of Mark Twain putting a rope in, in the water and measuring how far down things are, uh, is uses 200 megahertz of spectrum. And it's got a 200 megahertz guard band if you're, if you're not concerned about the low power satellite spectrum and you're actually concerned about the 5G spectrum, it's like you're sitting in an airplane seat and there's an empty seat next to you and you're complaining about the seat on the other side of the aisle is, is kind of the analogy here, which in 1982, I understand, which is the last time these, these standards came out, it all worked out. Uh, but here's how valuable this spectrum is. It was auctioned off, uh, 280 megahertz of it was auctioned off a year ago and brought $81 billion. So to use the radio altimeters, you know, we're using 200 megahertz, which is about $300 million in megahertz. That's its commercial value. We're using about $60 billion of spectrum to figure out how far from the ground the airplane is when it gets within a, a couple thousand feet of the ground. I, uh, it makes me wonder if we're doing, if we're kind of being sloppy with the spectrum usage and other aviation fields. Uh, I know that uh, FAA Administrator, you probably, I think you were involved in helping develop the ATC digital communication between the, the plane and the tower. Uh, you have some familiarity with that? Yes. And it, it's my understanding that all of the VHF nav for uh, aviation fits in 10 megahertz from the 108 to 118 slot. And then we've got the, the audio communications that, that fit in uh, 20 megahertz above that. And you all were able to, to use just one megahertz to get all of the communication, the digital communications between the ATC and the planes. Yes, sir. So uh, do you want me to respond or? Well, um, if I'm wrong, just correct me, but let, let me go on a little bit uh, forward. If, if we were gonna design uh, radio altimeters now, what, how much spectrum do you think we would need? Would we need the whole 200 megahertz? Could we do it, which is $60 billion worth of spectrum? Could we, could we do it with 10 megahertz, uh, which would be $3 billion? Or could we do it with one megahertz? I can't, you know, I'm not a, a spectrum expert myself, uh, but if you're asking me whether we can use spectrum more efficiently, I think the answer is yes. Uh, but we have to have a strategy for being able to do that. And remember when commercial aircraft are certified and put into service, you know, they will operate uh, safely and we are, we engineer them uh, to carry the public for a period of 30 to 40 years. And so, you know, if we are going to, uh, put that kind of, of retrofit mandate and, and standards development into uh, avionics, you know, that needs to be part of our uh, national strategy. And, and maybe that's something that can come out of this spectrum process. That's but my, my point here is, uh, you know, we can't, we need to have the data of, of what we're designing around so we can set the standards for uh, the avionics manufacturers and the airframe manufacturers to be able to produce those new units. And, I, and will, I, they, will they use Spectrum more efficiently? I would say that they will. I, that was the whole point of my questioning and you, you uh, completely understand it. Is I wanna make sure that we don't just solve this problem, but we solve the problem going forward because 
we're, we're not inventing any more spectrum. You can't create it. And we want to make sure that the aviation industry is a good steward. And I understand these, the changes happen faster with telecommunications than they could possibly be certified in aircraft. But uh, I appreciate you being willing to get in front of it and look for ways to sort of be a better steward of the spectrum. Thank you, Mr. Thank Chairman. you. Thank you. Thank you.